Mossy Oak presents Scentblocker Most Wanted is brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Scentblocker, the advantage of intelligence. Ford and your quality Ford dealers. Cuddyback, designed in the USA with quarter second trigger speed. And Tree Spider, the new world of tree stand safety. when you're watching Most Wanted and you see something like that, Larry's gotta be close by setting up bait sites for bear. Sure enough, that's what's on today's Most Wanted. Simplocker's own Mike Swan is getting his very first chance to hunt black bear with the folks from Canoe Canada Outfitters. And seeing as this is his first time, Larry's gonna take Mike along on his rounds, checking cuttybacks and setting up bait sites. Well, two days now since we moved that bait in here, and they're still not on it. So I hope they haven't found a berry patch somewhere, but I think they'll eventually find it. And when they do, we got a big red bear and a couple blacks right here in this spot. You see the stands? Oh, yeah. It's going to be a sweet spot once they start using it. So. We've got about a dozen bait sites and cuttybacks set up all around the several thousand acres of hunting land that's available to Canoe Canada. And like Larry said, the cuttyback images show there's no shortage of bears for Mike to choose from. So with the baits and cuttybacks all set, there was one more thing they had to do before getting Mike in a stand. Every year while some of the crew gets set up for bear, Bob's trying to catch a winning limit in the Atacokan Bass Classic. This is a black bear. Oh, you gotta look over here, man. <laughs> What's your bear population out here locally, what do you think? Um, I think we got a pretty good sustainable population of black bears in the area. You have any of... problems with bears this summer? Um, there have been a few incidents within the area. A person had deployed their bear spray, um, and they were able to get away from the bear at that point. Yeah. What would you say from law enforcement for uh, people who come from the states up here to bear hunt and the things that they really need to watch out for so they don't accidentally break any of your rules that you, know, what you might not know about unless they really... Um, probably for the bear hunting would be the uh, hunter orange requirements coming to and from their stand. They don't have to wear it while they're in the stand. But going to and from, wear to orange hat and vest? Orange hat and vest to and from the stand. When they're in the stand, they can take that off. And also uh, their firearm or bow has to be encased once, uh, you know, half hour after. So so in the daytime, it's okay to carry it. It's just after dark, it has to be in the case. That's correct. In a lot of places that have that same requirements, does a lock around the strings and cables of the bow, a padlock, suffice as a case? No, so it has to be encased here and it has to be six sides encased. So whether that's, you know, a sleeve that goes over it right. um, or, you know, a hard sided case, okay. it has to be encased on okay. all six sides. All right. Well, there you have it. Those are the things that a lot of people get in trouble for that, you know, that it probably aren't rules that you face in other parts of the country where you hump it here. That's the way it is, so keep that in mind. We've got lots of great extras on our Facebook page, or you could follow us on Twitter or Instagram. 